following a major traffic alert for drivers heading into the weekend. The first of two massive in-dot closures starts tonight. So I-65 southbound from the south split to 465 will shut down in just a matter of hours now. News 8's Jenny Dreisler live tonight from our mobile news tracker to just walk us through everything, Jenny. Yeah, well, Phil and Brooke, we're already starting to get kind of caught up in some of the rush hour traffic. That's going to be even worse here in a little bit when they start to close down 65 southbound. And drivers, you do need to be aware this closes down in two hours. So if you need to get on the south side and you use 65 southbound, do that now. Now, this is a new lengthy closure, not just on the weekends anymore. It's all because of the excessive rain delays over the last few months. Being an Uber driver, it's going to be problematic. I mean, trying to figure out the detours and trying to get people home and, uh, you know, because not everyone's going to have an easy way to get there. Easy or not, INDOT is ramping up road construction. Weather can't pick what it is, I suppose, but uh, certainly it might have been a better way of going about this as opposed to impacting nine days of travel. Starting tonight, INDOT will shut down all traffic on I-65 southbound from the south split to 465. The southbound lanes will be shut down for nine days and reopen at 6 a.m. on July 22nd. INDOT says it will shut down all lanes of 70, both east and westbound lanes, from the south split to 465 on the west side. That shut down lasts nine days and will reopen August 5th at 6 a.m. That's a very long time, and that's going to affect a lot of people's travel. In their work. So, how do you avoid the shutdowns? INDOT suggests to get around the 65 southbound closure, drivers take I 70 westbound to I 465 eastbound back to I 65 southbound. And to get around the I 70 closure, take I 465 eastbound to I 65 northbound to get downtown, or take I 65 southbound to I 465 westbound to get out of downtown. Get on the interstate and you never know, it's going to be closed or open, and 45 minutes later, you're done with your 10 minute drive. We crunched the numbers. The suggested detours will add about 25 to 30 minutes to your drive time, and depending on your route, nearly doubling your time behind the wheel. While some drivers are frustrated with the closures, others understand INDOT has work to get done. Getting the job done is ultimately the best idea. And so if it, you know, if it's a week of problems, at least that's the week and it's over with. And then we can have, you know, clean roads, paved roads and, you know, safe roads. Okay, so we did do some driving of our of our own, and some of the locals even suggested many drivers just take US 31 or Madison or you can actually take Emerson to get around. There's a lot of different areas to take to get around the 65 southbound closure. For more of this, just head to our website, wishtv.com. Live in the mobile news tracker, Jenny Dreisler, Wish TV News 8.